A dramatized documentary in Mexico is causing scandal and protest. The film called Night in Iguala depicts what happened to the 43 disappeared Ayotzinapa students. Yet the families and classmates of the youth argue that it is part of a smear campaign to criminalize their, their movement for truth and justice. Our correspondent Clayton Khan has more. Rejecting what they say is a manipulation of the facts and a means to profit, students from the Ayotzinapa Teachers Training College and activists protest the film Night in Iguala, a pseudo-documentary that critics say is almost exclusively based on the government's version of how the 43 Ayotzinapa students were disappeared. While we are still far from the truth of what happened in Iguala, we need to see both sides of things, and with that in mind, with our own conclusions and our criteria. We only come to ask you in a peaceful way to reflect. We come to say that this movie is a historic lie. Critics view the film produced by journalist Jorge Fernandez Menendez as part of a government-sponsored propaganda wave to discredit the families and classmates of the victims. Over the past year since the events in Iguala occurred, dozens of books, films, and other materials have been produced or published to influence public opinion. It depends on what the intention is. If the intention is to support the parents, support the movement, expose what happened, I think it is very valuable. However, there is another side. There are those who want to take advantage of this, who want to continue the lies. Meanwhile, the parents of the missing 43 youth urge a boycott of the film, saying that it is the last of this wave to delegitimize not just their actions and protests for truth and justice, but of those who support them as well. There are times when the media is bought by the government and by people not like us, and their objective is that they want to hurt anyone, not just the parents. Yet analysts argue that media smear campaigns against the families of the victims and even media productions that are questionable in their veracity are signs of intolerance toward dissent. When a government becomes authoritarian, it seeks hegemony over the truth. Any dissent voice needs to be made quiet. In this case, there is also the attempt to criminalize the victim. Meanwhile, another documentary on the Ayotzinapa case produced by independent journalist Tamores Greco is receiving the backing of the students and families, incrementing the war of words, ideas, and positions of who has control of truth in the Ayotzinapa case. Clayton Cantalosur, Mexico City.